Okie dokie, so uh, let's cover checkboxes in this video. Should have done it in the other video really because uh, checkboxes are part of lists and I uh, should have covered it in that. So um, basic syntax for a checkbox is um, as you would do a list, but then um, your square brackets and then uh, your item. So as you can see in uh, my markdown editor here, I have in Visual Studio Code, checkboxes don't appear to be sort of functional in here. So let's just uh, copy this out from here and swing on over to back at it. So if it's late at night and got a, um, I, I apologize for the bright screens one. So here, you can see I've just put in these two items here. An empty checkbox build one and um, some editors will let you uh, check them as you go through one does cool um, so this is particularly handy with uh, github issues so uh, let's just out um, mdx embed and we've got like quite a large list of um, tests which we are for um, we're doing for Hacktoberfest. So um, if we take a look at this here, wait for it to load. Um, yeah, you notice we've got a lot of issues here. Now, because I'm a contributor on the uh, repo, I, I can check these off. But if you are a, a not a contributor, so let's just do this in the private window here. Um, those would be grayed out, so uh, but they are here. Can't edit them, so it's really handy for this sort of thing where you've got a big list of items which you need to work through, and you can sort of check them off as you go along. And you'll see in here, um, it's part of a, a project as well. And as you tick these things off, um, this this progress bar will get. So that's it for. Um, Checkboxes, which should have been included in lists, really, but um, do it somehow. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this one. Um, and then I think we'll cover line breaks in the next one.